Good morning, everybody. This is your dude, Lightliger here, of course. And today I'm going to be reviewing Brave, a cryptocurrency-based browser. And I've talked about it a couple of times on the channel. Among this, I have reviewed other cryptocurrency-based browsers, which are slowly popping out in the market. A couple of exciting ones in the works, which I'm definitely going to be reviewing for you guys once they are out. But today I'm going to be talking about Brave. And my main selling point to you, you guy, you girl who is watching this video right now is that even if you don't own cryptocurrency you don't plan to learn about it or you're just not interested in cryptocurrencies you still should get brave over chrome opera or firefox most of the users watching my videos and probably watching this video are either brave owners but majority of people in the internet are using chrome the fact of the matter is brave is using chromium base which is the same um, basis which Chrome is using so all the same functionalities are there so you can install all the same extensions you can import all the bookmarks and passwords everything you pretty much need from your Chrome can be imported into Brave but top of this you are getting that extra layer of security uh, there's a inbuilt ad blocker in the system which is very good uh, Google doesn't actually endorse ad block that much because they're actually paying a lot of these ad blocking companies uh, such as Applock Plus and etc. to whitelist um, Google or YouTube uh, on their browsers automatically so they don't lose so much on ad revenue. But Brave's um, ecosystem and everything about it is kind of contrary. We're going to be talking about it soon. But um, there is a much higher layer of security. But the biggest pitch line obviously here is the speed. The way it loads every website you go into is much faster compared to Chrome, Opera, or Firefox. It's just plainly faster. That's how it is basically made out to be. So Brave is ideal for cryptocurrency users and people who are not interested in cryptocurrency, but want just a better browsing experience, more secure and more faster. Time is everything, guys. Time is currency you can't buy. Technically, you can't buy back the time you lost, but you can buy time from the future in this sense. So you don't wanna spend time loading five minutes. And yes, so let's talk about kind of what Brave is doing. So Brave is, well, first of all, it is available on mobile. By the way, when I said the most fastest, it is on desktop. There's multiple tests which you can search on the internet. I'm not really sure is it actually fastest on mobile. Uh, I would believe so. And in the beginning intro video that you saw, and you can read more about it on the website, I will do a very, very short rundown. Basically, the app blocker blocks all the ads, but the, the actual browser tracks how much time you spend on a certain website. And you have these cryptocurrencies, which are tokens operating under Ethereum blockchain called Basic Attention Token, BAT. And you get these by watching optional ads, which you can turn on. You don't have to put them on. They are off by default and they will be available for all the countries. People have been saying, I don't want to install it because I don't see the ads. I don't have ads here on Nigeria or whatever. But the fact of the matter is eventually all countries will be able to serve ads. And by watching those ads, you will be getting paid in money. Um, how much you can make a year, according to their estimates, $80 a year. Um, that can be much higher if the currency's value goes up and other metrics that might be coming out in the future, other ad systems that they have. But basically, if you don't want to, you know, you don't really care about those two cents, the content creators you watch, the websites you read, they might care about it. I've gotten fair share of basic attention tokens by people just viewing my content on YouTube. And I'm being very grateful for that, people who have been supporting me. You can also tip sites. And this is the future of content creation and funding your blogs and platforms by through ads. And you know, the Brave is just um, for it. Here you can see all the tracker things that it's blocking out. You can always put the shields off. And you can, we're gonna be looking into the actual ad thing. There's privacy with Tor. DuckDuckDuckGo, it supports a lot of these privacy-based search engines, which is also good. You can use Google still. You can set up anything you like, basically. And here's some, you know, rundown of the basic rewards. And there are a lot of other videos. I want to talk about a bit more of the browser. Um, so first of all, like um, the layout. So here we have my all tabs, home button, 
which goes into the main page. This one shows you how much ads and trackers have been blocked. The HTTPS, so every time you go into a website, Brave will enforce the HTTPS going on, which is the security uh, thing that you see when you are on a specific website. And some websites don't force you automatically switch from HTTP to HTTPS. Brave does it, which is very good. And this is the amount of time I have saved for not watching those ads on my browser. And here you can see the Brave rewards. Currently here in uh, Finland, the ads are not available on my region. They will be eventually. And there is like a system here, as you can see, you can see the tips, everything, how much you're given. Sometimes they were giving free money when you install the browser. They might do that you'll still in the future once they hit big milestones. There are millions of users. And here are the settings tabs and everything. I kind of like the layout here. I think it's much more clearer than uh, on Chrome. And everything about it is just easy to learn. You have all the interesting, or I'm sorry, in important uh, extension, IPVFs, and even web torrenting is available on Brave. And there's also an inbuilt MetaMask wallet, which is a Ethereum-based wallet. Um, pretty good. And pretty much everything in terms of customization is here that you would be looking for from a browser. And from a that standpoint alone, I think it's a very, very strong uh, browser option for you. Uh, here's the crypto wallet uh, login. This is, as you can see, the MetaMask um, interface. It might be a bit more harder for people who are, you know, in new to crypto. I don't think the MetaMask is the most, you know, um, let's just say like it's not the most user friendly thing to coming into crypto. But here I can see my currencies and my Ethereum here, my BAT, which is not actually on this uh, Ethereum account. I have multiple. And you can change also the, you know, to test nets and everything like that. So it's inbuilt here. You don't need a external extension for that, which is pretty good. Um, then there's the Brave Rewards, which you can make a lot of money on uh, by referring people to download it. If they use it for 30 days actively, they're not scams, you get money. I got, I got you know, around 20 bucks, 20 to 30 bucks. Sometimes I got 40 bucks a month. And you can plug in all your uh, websites here and a YouTube accounts. And once every time somebody visits your um, accounts, if they have tips on which they're distributing, by the time that they have sp spent on your YouTube channel or your website, you will be getting money for that. So that's pretty pretty sick. That's pretty nice. Um, and overall, like going into talking about like Brave here. Um, it is the secure um, option for pretty much everything. Um, I've seen the Tor browser is pretty good, an Epic privacy browser as well. But uh, the fact of the matter is that um, Brave is just, a, you know, you want to be part of the revolution. Chrome is selling your data to third party, you know, vendors, governments. They're tracking you all the time. I don't think this is okay. People are not consciously... Um, against it right now, but they will be in future once they start to see the negative effects coming out to play more. And I think Brave will definitely will become the number two browser in next three years or so. That would be my estimate. So my my message is to you, like even if you're not going to be, um, even if the ads are blocked in your um, service right now, I definitely still recommend getting it because they those regions will be available in the future. And by downloading it, downloading it from below using my link, it supports my work as well. But definitely, when it comes to Brave, I'm you know a user of it, and I think it's probably the best browser out there. My computer is a bit buggy, so I don't use it as much as some of the others. I have nine browsers, by the way. I use them all the time for different reasons. But uh, Brave is definitely the one that I like to use when I'm watching YouTube, for example, because it blocks the ads. And if I want to vastly something to search something, it's definitely the best choice. But um, it is very lightweight for the most part. I don't think it eats up that much uh, RAM or memory compared to some of the other browsers. Like, for example, Crypto Tab, which I've talked about in the past, the memory drain would be like 2.2K uh, in MB compared to Brave. So it's definitely uh, not so 
heavy on draining your computer compared to these other options. It's very fast and it's a very secure and it helps content creators and making internet a better place. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.